Welcome back to Robert Lord, where I give you the ins and outs of graphic design as it pertains to logos, t-shirts, and GIF animations. Today, people, today, I'm going to turn one of my favorite hats into a mock-up. So you guys, this is going to be a very informative video, so if you like this, please let me know in the comment section below. If there's any other things that you might want me to mock up, let me know in the comment section below as well. Please smash the like button if you like it, and subscribe at your own terms, okay? So let's go ahead and get into Photoshop where I got my raw image ready for editing. So you guys, making a mock-up is almost as simple as like riding a bike, especially when you start doing it more often. You can start adding to the process and doing your own different type of thing. But with this one, I'm taking raw images from a camera and I'm going to turn it into a mock-up. So this is my hat and I'm going to go ahead and make some minor adjustments in Photoshop Camera Raw to this image. So one of the most problematic aspects about this image is that it was taken without lighting. And as a product designer, I would have issues trying to add things to this hat without it actually being lit properly. So I have to go ahead and bump the exposure and other stuff like that just to make sure I can get a clear image out of this. Once you get a clear image, it's pretty much cake from there. All you have to do is get the pen tool, select it all out, and you start your actual process to build a mock-up. Now with this Harvard hat already having a logo on top of it, I have to get it out. So using the clone stamp tool, I can sample out different parts of the hat to just brush over the logo. And please make sure that you clean up around your hat. The remnants of the logo is still there, so just make sure that you use the clone stamp tool to get those out. Now everybody has their own way of changing colors on the item in Photoshop. You almost develop your own style doing your own color changes. Now my method is to take a color fill layer and then set it to multiply. But in terms of this mockup, I need to make this fully customizable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a smart object, make a copy of it and then put the copy at the top, drop the opacity and fill layer to zero, and then pretty much group all that stuff together without the color field copy. And that's 100% necessary and important because you don't wanna be looking through a group just for this one smart object. Now as far as the artwork, all you have to do is make a new layer, paint it whatever color you want to, and then turn it into a smart object, and then double click inside of it. Drop your artwork into this canvas and then turn off that layer that has the color on it. Then save and close out that canvas. Now everybody has their own way of blending logos and icons to items. I like to use Blend If, and that's because it gives you the textures, it gives you the lighting, it gives you the highlights. Blend If is amazing just when it comes down to that specifically. And if you're just trying to mock something up, that's pretty much all you have to do. Everything going forward is just me doing extra stuff, so using the filter gallery to just pretty much make stitch textures. I'm adding a reflection, I'm adding flooring, I'm adding a shadow to the reflection. Basically everything after that point is styling. And if that's something that you guys would like to learn, let me know in the comment section. I can give you that tutorial. But in any event, this mock-up right here is pretty special. And I can't let you guys know right now why. But just know it's going to be very awesome. It's something that I'm working on, a big project that I'm working on. And I'm very happy to talk to you guys about it in a later video. And that's it. So you guys, if you like this one, please let me know in the comment section below if there's anything that I can help you with, if there's anything that I can at least clarify for you as far as this mock-up goes. I know it was kind of informative and it was pretty fast, but this is pretty simple when it comes down to it. So if there's anything that I can help you with, let me know. This mock-up or at least a mock-up close to this will be listed on my website for download. So you guys definitely check that out when you get the chance to. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, Stay awesome.